right guys welcome back to stevie outdoors just a dude in the woods and this video we're going to be looking at the lk35 backpack and a non lightweight kit so it's a warning don't be bitching more in the comments and it's really really heavy i know it's heavy it's meant to be heavy it's full of stainless it's full of canvas it's a heavy ass kit it actually comes in at two stone and six let's have a look at that now right so let's knock this guy on here is the pack so i'm just going to put them on here and we'll show you the pack properly in it let's have a look it's where it's done there 2.5 you can see that guys that's 2.5 stone that's pretty much a stone heavier than my other kit so let's have a look at this pack now Well guys, here is my LK35 backpack. This is my non-lightweight kit. As you can see, it's quite a traditional kit. On the bottom here, we have the Polish Levu inside of there. Um, I don't have the pegs or the poles with that because I was making them in the wilderness. That's the idea of this kit. Of course, we have the ax. Of course we have a storm lantern, won't be quite right without a storm lantern on there and there we have the cook screw as well. Uh, this kit here is absolutely <laughs> ram packed. I still have room for food, believe it or not, inside of this backpack um, as well as water which is kind of crazy so let's have a proper look at this now. So the LK35 is a 35 litre backpack. Inside of here it's got this extra strapping system. This unloosens to cr create a whole modular so you can put a sleeping bag or whatever on top of there. I could take my winter sleeping bag out of there and literally just I'll have half a or three quarters of a bag left from the bottom here all the way up to there is sleeping bag or that whole bottom so i could take that out and put it on the top if i had a waterproof case for it but i haven't got one with me the polish de has a water case and that's just there the bottom i could swap them over as you can see how it works this guy it's cinched down all cinch straps so you just kind of pull them through pull them tight uh, this guy's fastened on the bottom the back of this here has a metal frame the back supports on it uh, it's a bit battered this it cost, cost me a total of 15 pounds for this bag from military mart you can go to militarymart.co.uk and check them out uh, i'm not no commissions or anything like that for pimping this kit um, in the front here some people put patches on i've actually got my personal details in there in case i'm ever found dead in the woods or crushed by a tree or drowned in a river or something uh, at least i know where to send my body back to it sounds pretty gruesome but you've got to be prepared and that's the bag there absolutely lovely bit of kit Let's have a look now, see what's inside of it. So here's my storm lantern. Normally I have another strap that just goes around the bottom of that and just secure it in place. But for this part of the video, we'll just take it off the way it is. So here's my storm lantern coming off. So that can go to one side. £5 or £5.99 on eBay. Bargain. Over here, I have a temperature gauge. As well as a small compass. It sits on the front of the bag. Obviously there's my cook scar on this side of the bag as well. It's a wooden cook scar on there. It's got a bone toggle handle. So love my cooks cook up. Got a couple of them, but that one's my favourite. We just undo the straps. And as I throw this hood back, you can see now there's plenty of room inside there. There's the Hulk Force Trekking Axe. Uh, as you may have seen in my other video if you watched my Sabre 45 video. Same axe. I actually have got another Hulk Force, um, the classic hunting axe, which I could use. But this is one that I love. And check us out, guys. Lots of goodies to get into and have a look. So let's have a look, see what's inside the bag. Okay, guys. So inside this bag here, I've got one of my new kettles. Now, I did actually feature this in a video. But sadly, I lost all of my data, and it was really, <laughs> I was really gutted. My, my basically my card was wiped. Um, but this here, guys, is the Eagles product 1.5 liter kettle. Um, absolutely adore this kit. Piece of kit. Um, if I can get it just as it zooms in on there. There we go okay so at the top of it here you've got the pawn nozzle obviously uh it's meant for hanging over the fire as you can see there from the bales these guys come apart I've got the lid on the top now these are quite expensive these are about 40 pounds um to get one of these and you can get a 0.7 i think it is liter uh, on the bottom of it is brass so it offers to heat distribution it actually heats the water really quick it's probably the fastest thing i've ever had boil um on a, on a fire literally just it takes literally minutes uh, and it's a way like a normal household kettle just because the way it's designed um and what happened was i actually got this bit of kit as a christmas present it was all wrapped up inside a box i went under this old christmas tree or pine uh, scotch pine in the woods opened up for you guys and the challenge was whatever was inside the bag or inside this box i had a bushcraft on it and i did i made a fire and everything like that I made a fire 
wall support we boiled some water we ate some food made a full camp and we used half polish lavu set up on a tripod uh, it was absolutely brilliant but i lost the kit i want to redo that video for you again but it won't have um the opening of this awesome piece of kit but yeah jilly my partner got me this for christmas and i absolutely love it absolutely brilliant bit of kit next off inside of here guys I have a heavy piece of kit as well. This is another water boiler if you like, um, but this I normally cook stews and stuff in it. I cook one pot pies, one pot recipes. Uh, inside of here we've got one can of bowl, which is the lid. This is the Zebra Billy can, 12 centimeters. Um, you can buy these on Amazon and places like that. So let's put this down. Next I have a secondary bowl inside of there. I generally kind of use this for me, eat most of my food out of, to be honest with you. Um, a small one there. And inside of here I've got stuff you've probably seen before in other videos, food knife. Half a sponge, where I put the sponge in half, dishcloth, a lighter, and salt, pepper, chili, things like that inside of there as well. So stainless steel, all boilable. Now one cool thing, one cool thing I have seen people do, and this is one of my ideas actually, and I put out there, I've seen people do it since then. I haven't done this kit, but what I've done in the past is drill a small six millimeter hole, one there and one on the side. So you've got two or three little holes just there. Then what you do guys, you can't use this afterwards unless you really clean it. You can take dirty river water, fill it halfway, put this on the top like that, put the lid over the top of it like this and then put on the boil. And what happens is as the uh, hot water underneath boils, it hits the coldness of the bowl above and the lid and the steam turns to actual clean water. So it basically having the holes at the top here stops the dirty water jumping up inside it the contaminated water and when you take this off you actually get clean uh lukewarm water from the actual uh, top of the bowl and i've actually filled this up all the way up and had a really good drink of it and i've actually used that and the inside of this was absolutely black with like different chemicals because it burnt down you can actually see the powders and stuff inside of them uh but it is a good survival piece of kit and i've left the, i've left the actual bale handle on that as well uh, i don't really like the idea of putting wire on there i like the good old sturdy one Good little oven as well because i'm sleeping on the floor i have the uh four class air mattress it's 180 centimeters by 48 centimeters it's european um and it's by a company called <laughs> Quashua, I can't pronounce that, so you need to check it out, guys. But that there is a perfect air mat. Uh, check out my video, so I'll leave a link below to all about this and uh, using this. Next up, guys, I have my ground sheet now this is a military top um pretty much you've seen this before in some of my videos um it cost me around about 10 pounds on ebay and it just simply falls out you've seen me use this so many different times if you're a subscriber and if you aren't a subscriber guys subscribe it has the poncho hood inside there it's basically a rim poncho with eyelets and many other things and uh, actually use this as a ground sheet and it's a cracking piece of kit uh, i've had for many years and for the price of it you definitely can't grumble with it Next to the bottom side of here is my sleeping bag, which you've seen that before, but I'll get that in a little while. Uh, here, I have again my disposable kit. Uh, inside of this one, this time round, I have the same knife, which is my bushcraft knife that we used to sell from Northern Wilderness, but we don't do them anymore, guys. Sorry, it's be £25 each. Uh, and that's a four tang, four mil tang, rosewood handles, and that's with a strike. I love that knife. Inside of here, I've got a set of mechanics gloves which i use for everything around camp uh, after that inside of here i have some paracord in the front part of this bag here i also have my fire lighting kit so if I open this up inside of here you find ferrisium rods matches dipped in wax all that kind of good stuff cotton wool balls prepped vaseline very simple Basically take a cotton wool ball, make it porous by pulling it apart, not into pieces but you know, make it a bit wider, rub Vaseline inside of it, matches, you dip them in wax um, and get ready for striking. I've got a magnesium block there with a ferrocene rod as a backup on there as well. Inside of here I also have my lighter which you've seen before, the shotgun clutch cartridge, box of tinder inside of this if you've not seen the box of tinder before guys it's just basically bits of birch bark cramp balls i'm about to put some fat wood inside of there fat wood shavings and stuff like that as well knife sharpener with a coarse 
and hardened this for convex knives and it's not for a um, scandy so I don't use scandies that often so now I've got a little open nail pocket knife uh, and I use this just for carving whittling whatever I really want to use it for it's just a small little handy pocket knife beautiful bit of kit that and that's what's inside of that canvas pouch there next guys I have my eating utensils these ones are heavy not the sport like the titanium ones I use in another video this one has got the stainless see that there so there's a stainless steel spoon we have the stainless fork we have a full lock and knife as well inside of there corkscrew in case I want to a bottle of wine <laughs> um yeah it's uh there's a tin opener on here as well which actually comes in bloody handy uh for numerous things but there's a yeah the tin opener's just on the side of there so that's pretty good and this just attaches to your kit again canvas and stainless just the way i, I like canvas and stainless all right i have with me today the candle lantern from yuko that's with us today uh, this one here, you can pick these up. I've actually featured one of my Christmas videos, and the Christmas videos they had a deal on where they had these Yuko candles. Um, this thing I think was twenty nine ninety nine for the candle, with all the pouches, with the glass, with the actual candles themselves. Um, actually, everything inside there that you needed, some beautiful colours. And this simply hangs at my camp. Change the beaner on it, the carabiner, and this just hangs next to me if I'm not using my storm lantern or if I'm putting this inside my um, Polish levure, which I tend to put this inside of. Um, and it, the heat of this is amazing, it does not heat the levure just off this one little candle. I recommend a bit of kit on the back end there. You can see there, this gives you the time how much left of the candles available. As you can see, it's empty now. I've used the candle on this. Need to refill that. For a chair or bed you'll have seen this if you follow my instagram just a dude in the woods you'll have seen this set up um so many different times as you can see in the photograph above this is how i do my chair basically it is a stretcher canvas from military mart it costs around about five or six pounds and the top of it here you can see there's the top it's got a loop through it what i'll do is run paracord through that cinch it up run the paracord then through the bottom of it and i create a big loop and as you can see from the photograph you can see how it goes together um on it on, on the wood which i cut for it and i can make an actual hammock chair from it uh, i've used it as a bed before numerous times um as you can see from photographs now you can see all the different stretches and things like that i've made from it um and it's just a lightweight piece of kit that comes in handy it's versatile and for the price absolutely lovely basic kit beautiful Now you've seen this guys before, this is the Baco Laplander. Uh, again, if you haven't seen these guys, these are great saws, absolutely eat through everything. And for beginner bushcrafters especially, they're a very good saw to get into before you start getting the more traditional stuff. I would, I might add uh, a different kind of saw, bow saw or something, I might add something different to this kit, but this is the Baco Laplander saw. Ideal for cutting down wood, building shelters and all sorts of other things. Here we have uh, one of my favourite knives. Now, Kasunda is, or Kus, yeah, Kasundo is a knife brand. Uh, this one here is is well used. I don't even see that there. Zoom in a bit for you guys so you can. There we go. Stainless steel. Generally use this for food, but look how dirty this guy's gotten rot through the damp. I need to really treat that brass um, curly birch handle inlay. And by the way, this hasn't just got because i've kept in my bag actually lost this in a field uh for about seven months and the farmer who was doing the field was actually his tractor plowing it when the light caught a glint he got out to see what it was and this is my knife and it fell out i had the pouch it was still on my kit but the knife had actually fell out of it and was lying in the floor and this is <laughs> they found it looking didn't get eaten by the by the combine harvester or whatever the hell it was that they were doing um but yeah comes with a little sheath like that beautiful little knife and i use this generally for cooking eating cooking foods and stuff but down Side, let's check this out. We can see that sitting at the bottom there. They come with like a little plastic insert. Now you can't really see that, it's, it's zooming in on me. That's zooming in on me, yeah. You can see that, but that's the, there it is. There's the knife blade coming out the bottom of it. 
and that's one of the reasons I'm really careful with this knife actually should do a better sheath actually and restitch this I think I might redo that and just do a better but the, the uh, plastic bit in there I lost that as well <laughs> anyway Put a small tarpaulin just for leaning on you see this in my other videos uh, just keep yourself dry when you're on the ground now if I'm not lighting a fire this is a new piece of kit I've got the other one sadly um, I've lost and I don't know where the hell it's gone to I don't know if I've left it at camp or what but I had one of the expensive um, ones of these guys now I'm to this guy if I can now this here guys is one of the there we go just a bush cooker small one here uh, very simple if you've never seen these before they come with a metal toggle they come first of all they come with this kind of plate and this is for to use like uh, burners paraffin or spirit burners and stuff with and it goes inside and you put your spirit burner through this the flame comes up and you can cook and stuff on it this one here I think it was 16 99 I'm just going to unscrew this guy here. This guy basically even screws. Careful to lose him. And he pulls through the metal. Let's tie him back up again because he sits on this pin. That's what kind of keeps everything organised and together inside the little pack that it comes with. Now, you've got this piece first of all. This is the floor. And this is the actual cougar itself. Okay, so as you can see that pulls right out and basically very simple to put together guys You're simply just going to take the slot on the bottom Slot here put together fold it around these little tabs go on the slots as you can see There's the slots there and simply that little tab is going to go inside of there and then the hinges here They're going to marry up and we're just going to make sure that they marry up nicely together Once they're married up and you're happy you can then take your pin and run it through the sides and there we have a bush box guys small stainless bush box this one hasn't been used i got this for christmas uh, it's brand new uh, inside of the bush box on this one i actually have a, a platform section and on these guys you're going to have small end deep end groove cut and if you look on this you'll actually see why You've got this dip here. I'm actually not sure what's for, guys. That dip. If you could inform me, that would be pretty damn epic. So what I'm going to do is let's put the first one in. So this is the first one. It's got two long cuts, and he's got two large areas either side. Just slide him over the top. It's got a central piece cut. Same as this guy. Yeah, did yeah. So the smallest cut goes to the back, just like that, guys, and that's what creates an area to put your pots and pans and stuff on, um, like so. There we go, and fill that full of little sticks, and basically keeps a fire off the floor. And that's handy if you're in an area where you can't have a fire on the ground, stuff like that. At least you can still cook by flame um, without having to use gas and stuff and use your natural resources around you. Um, without having to have a fire and obviously dig loads of holes and things like that as well. So that is a nice, handy little piece of kit there. Guys, after that, I have my sleeping bag, which is inside here, which you've seen before. The Dura 2 sleeping bag. I'm not going to bother getting that out. There's a picture of for you to see. Uh, and of course, here's my Porsche review, which you've seen set up before as well which is on the bottom and basically I've just attached this on with a couple of straps extra straps that go through two loops on the bag here right so after that guys that is the basic kit and inside of there what I've got left inside of here is first of all I've got this big pouch at the back that's why I keep most of my kit inside of there is it's not a gelat a gelat uh, sleeping bag that's actually my Dura 2 inside of there inside of a case um, obviously the axes on the front here and then down here we have a couple extra toggles which I've just put through here and through the bottom of the actual metal strap and this is how to strap on my um, Polish Levu and that is my actual setup there for my bits and pieces and that there guys is a heavyweight bushcraft camp kit items well guys there we have the LK35 backpack kit uh, which I use for stainless stuff if I am not using the LK35 I use my 
uh, Campari Sierra, uh, which is an awesome backpack, which I'm going to feature in another video at another time, but not now because the sun is starting to set, it's starting to get really cold outside of here, and I'm going to go in and get a hot brew. Anyway, guys, from Stevie Outdoors, hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, please like, leave a comment if you've got any tips and stuff, and always, always subscribe, guys, for more videos. It really will help the channel out. And thank you very much. Oh, and by the way, remember to check us out on Just a Dude in the Woods on Instagram. Check loads of photographs out, giveaways, and many other things. Anyway, guys, until next time, leave no trips with knowledge. I'm out. See ya. One last thing. <laughs> well, move over. That belongs in the kit. <laughs> See ya.